So you want to donate blood to help win Vampire Cup, but you don't know how. Well, we made a video for you here with Siobhan Reynolds and Alex Miles to show you how to do it. On the day of your donation, make sure you're physically ready. Hey, Alex, did you have a good breakfast? Yes, and I drank six glasses of water. Make your way to your closest donor center. And if you're in the city, that would be the Collin Street Center. Oh, let's go, Alex. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah. When you arrive, make your way to the front desk where you'll meet this dude. Ding! He will give you a large form to fill out, which will go through some health questions and make sure you're eligible to donate. Don't forget to ask for the Red 25 form, which will make sure your donation is contributed to the Vampire Cup. It's the Red 25 form. Oh, I'm just filling out my Red 25 form, Alex. Good job, Siobhan. Me too. Way to go, guys. Ding! Next, you'll be taken to see the Red Cross person, who will ask you some sensitive PCP-type questions. Siobhan, have you ever done PCP? Oh, no, doctor. I would never. I'm a med student. Good. Good. And now I'm going to check your blood pressure. Take particular note of the Red Cross person's eloquent blood pressuring technique. Mmm, good blood pressure. Now I'm going to check your pulse. Mmm, good pulse. Oh, thank you, doctor. Good. Now I'm going to check your hemoglobin. Oh, that almost didn't hurt. Good. It was a finger prick. Then comes the actual donation process. Your nurse will take you to a wonderfully comfortable chair where you can wave in slow motion if it's so inclined and she'll find a good vein. Usually it's best to donate with your non-dominant arm. And before you know it, comes the sucking of your blood. For whole blood, that's about 10 minutes, and for plasma, about 30. And remember that the one second of pain will lead to the saving of three lives. Make sure you ask for a blanket and a drink if you need them, because those things are tasty and fun to wear. Also remember to get your cameras and terrible blood-related puns for the selfie competition. Otherwise, your hard work might be in vain. And at the end of the donation, you'll get a bandage of honor, as well as the feeling of pride that you have contributed to the Vampire Cup. And in celebration, you're free to consume all the post-donation goodies you want. Fun fact, 15 sausage rolls might help replenish your hemoglobin. But be aware of the food coma. Dun, dun, dun. So for all you competitive people out there, make sure to donate and help us be the best uni in the Ivy League. Ding!